Welcome back to another episode. We're here on the estate with um, the birds, the flies. So today, all my bob wires turned up, which is really good. I'm very stoked about that. Um, so today we're going to try and install these somehow. Uh, got a fair idea how we're going to do it, but let's just uh, have a bit of a play around and see what option is going to be the best. Brought out some more grit, apple cider vinegar for those, and also mixed up some garlic oil, hemp seed oil, and some bio powder and some pink mineral powder into a nice little bit of a mix for them. You can see all the powders actually. Let me get a bit better focus on it for you. The powder's all over it, so that's good. Look at it, yummy. So hopefully the pigeons enjoy that, but our main aim is to get these wires on. So the goal is to get them in here. Um, I'm gonna have to put another piece up here anyway, and they'll swing like this when the birds wanna come in. And let's just sit that there, because what I do have, is my ETS pad. In you come, come on. It's such a long cable on these things. So I do have a secondhand um, Taurus. And the plan is to have this sitting somewhere around about here underneath a bit of a bit of ply board. So I can actually just put this in on race days, just slide it in. The birds will come in, walk on the platform, come in through the bulbs, and then they'll just jump up onto their perch, get some water, whatever they want to do. So that's the, the aim for the next few days, at least. We'll see how much we get done today. But um, it's basically just get that pad in, sort this door out, so we can start getting them out flying, because I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty close. It's looking pretty good. The bobs are here. We've got to get this in. Um, if we can get it in today, we might even try and trap train them. So stay tuned for later in the video because we might um, actually see these birds doing a bit of trap training in here. But let's get started on this. Got all the young birds and some of the older ones sitting out in this aviary bit. Why I whipped this little thing up. Um, I just made do with basically whatever materials I had laying around out here. So you can see that's why I've used a lot of the timber they use for framing. Um, we were short probably one of these little wires. So basically just um, you know, put the timber in the middle and separate it into two, which still works fine. There's still enough room for the birds to come through there, no problem at all. So basically how I've got it set up, birds will just walk in over here. ETS will be fixed in under here. This is sort of just like a temporary thing until I buy um we'll find some decent metal brackets i can probably place in here but this is super sturdy anyway so that's not going to be an issue um the birds will just come in and head to their perch or down for a water drink whatever they're going to do um and basically this has got some holes in under it so we could probably even um screw that up in under there it's really hard to see but we can kind of screw that in, you know, enough under there and it works, works quite well. So why should work? Even if we do change clocks, we should, we can still fix it up under there. No problems at all. So what I'm interested to see now is if we put the, um, the training box up there and put some birds up in there and see what happens. Basically just leave them out there until, um, well, until they want to come in or we can call them in. I might just put them out there and see if they come in. I, I think that's probably the best bet. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, for a couple of dollars, what it costs for those bobs and a few offcuts, yeah, I think this is going to do us. And I think the um, our Taurus ETS fits pretty well. We're up under there anyway, so I will have to test that. I'm going to have to test it, see if that reads under there pretty easy. I haven't even tested this yet, so it um, be interesting to test this with some ETS, some of the rings on there and see if it picks it up. It should pick it up through there pretty easy. I've never used the ETS before, so it's all a little learning curve. 
and all it needs now is probably a little bit of paint paint that all white so it looks nice and neat paint the outside green and I think we'll be sweet so let's get some birds out in the training box all right so training box is on this is the front side let's get these birds in there and see if we can get them to trap in here let's we're getting close to letting them out so close now we've got the trap in we just got to give the birds a little bit more time make them as fluent as we possibly can in this so if they do get we know when they are out they know that that's how they get back in so i'm very keen to see how they go i think a lot of these birds should be pretty good um they're all down there they're all getting ready to go look at them all all right let's do this so all the young birds are up here let's have a look at them from outside Look at them all. So what I might do, yeah, I might just, um, I might just leave them all up here for a little bit, just uh, get them just used to it, and then if anyone wants to go in, they can go in. So we'll touch bud back in a little bit. A few of them are getting a bit of an idea. They're having a bit of a sticky beak in the in the traps. Let's touch base in probably a half hour, an hour, and see how they're going. If they want to go in, they can. The whole feral was the first one through there. What a surprise. Come on. The old feral. You may look a bit scruffy, but maybe a little bit smarter than I thought you are. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we can get him in. Come on. How about if I actually bring this up? Come on. Come on. It's a bit hard for them to see, but. Come on. Come on. Let me put a little sprinkle here and see if that gets anyone's attention. Come on. Come on. You just got to push your head through it. I know you're not used to wires. This can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. See if we can get one through. Come on. Come on. No, it looks like he's having too much fun out there. So by the looks of it, there's only four of you that figured this out. A little feral and the two youngest ones we've only just recently brought over so that's interesting 
what I'm gonna have to do anyway is just bring all those birds in just because it's um it's getting late in the day and I need to go home so what I might do is just open up those bobs and just push them through and hopefully that um next time gives them a little bit of a helping hand so that they do push through there but the fact we got four it's a good start I guess we just probably need to keep them a little bit more hungry and try again so we can do um. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's a nanny is in a bit of a hurry today, no one at all. So all the birds are back in. I had to um, hold those wires up to bring most of them in. I'm gonna limit their food a little bit just because I have been feeding them far too much so I need to motivate them a little bit more. So tomorrow, I'm hoping you guys are gonna be a little bit more hungry and we might be able to get you a little bit more motivated but I'm, I'm happy that four of yous pretty much got the idea of what was going on but surprisingly it was the youngest ones like that little squeaker there he was one of them but yeah we'll see we'll give them another go tomorrow and see how they they go they're, they're only going to get better we got four through on the first go which is pretty good they spent probably uh, maybe 40 minutes or so in the box so they had a good look around and just got to try and train them into that sort of routine that when they they whistle they come in but uh yeah you guys are going to miss out on a little bit of food tonight hopefully tomorrow you guys are super motivated because um the little feral look how fat his little belly is he was the first one in he may be the silliest looking one we got in here he's only got one bar he's a little bit scruffy we did breed him so he just we did have to hand raise him but he's obviously got a little bit of brains in him so we'll just see how he goes. He might surprise us. See how he turns out after the molt because he's looking very scruffy at the moment. And this was one of the other ones. One of Titan and Little Storm's babies. But I'm going to catch you guys in tomorrow's video. That was not successful at all this video. I'm a little bit disappointed in how that turned out. But, you know, that's pigeons. You don't have good days every day, I can tell you that. We'll just keep going and hopefully tomorrow we can get those guys a little bit more motivated. Hopefully they figure out what's going on. But our trap's there, everything's ready to go. We just gotta get them fluent in this and then we can let them out, which is the days are getting close to all these guys up flying. So I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow, get ready.